We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. The Victory of Surrender, January 6th. We perceive that only through utter defeat are we able to take our first steps towards liberation and strength. Our admissions of personal powerlessness finally turn out to be a firm bedrock upon which happy and purposeful lives may be built. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 21. When alcohol influenced every facet of my life, when bottles became the symbol of all my self-indulgence and permissiveness, when I came to realize that, by myself, I could do nothing to overcome the power of alcohol, I realized I had no recourse except surrender. In surrender, I found victory. Victory over my selfish self-indulgence. Victory over my stubborn resistance to life as it was given to me. When I stopped fighting anybody or anything, I started on the path to sobriety, serenity, and peace. Liberation means freedom. Liberty. Our foundation as a nation. Individually, we need to be autonomous, free from a toxic mind. Our own toxic minds. That is what we had become. Alcoholics Anonymous has solved that problem for millions. The hopeless state of mind and body has been taken away, not cured. It all starts with admission of powerlessness. What a relief to say it and believe it. From there, we are reborn into a new and unexpected life, almost a dream. No living nightmares any longer. Why it took decades for us to find our solution in a higher power is not for us to know. We are grateful today that we have been chosen. We are the miracles. He provided for us, us who were self-will driven. The inner liar in us was paralyzed long enough for the idea, the concept of God to enter. A thousand pound weight has been lifted off of our hearts and we live in peace. We transmit love to others. Our aim now is to be useful to others. The Victory of Surrender, January 6th. We perceive that only through utter defeat are we able to take our first steps towards liberation and strength. Our admissions of personal powerlessness finally turn out to be a firm bedrock upon which happy and purposeful lives may be built. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 21. When alcohol influenced every facet of my life, when bottles became the symbol of all my self-indulgence and permissiveness, when I came to realize that, by myself, I could do nothing to overcome the power of alcohol, I realized I had no recourse except surrender. In surrender, I found victory. Victory over my selfish self-indulgence. Victory over my stubborn resistance to life as it was given to me. When I stopped fighting anybody or anything, I started on the path to sobriety, serenity, and peace. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.